Hi everyone, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's Thursday, June 27th, 2013. Very interesting developments uh, happening in Toronto this week. Uh, it's Pride Week in Toronto. Um, it's no secret that uh, there's separate events for the gay, lesbian community and the trans community, or at least in terms of who is organizing these events. Uh, I won't get into that issue right now, that's another video, but uh, specifically there is a trans march taking place tomorrow, that's Friday, June 28th, and uh, within the past few days there's been a very interesting controversial story developing that's uh, tearing everybody apart. Metro Toronto Police have some sort of LGBT committee, I guess it is, and uh, they made it known that they would like to march in the trans uh, parade and apparently this did not sit well with certain members of the Toronto trans community. It's no secret that uh, many members of the Toronto trans community have uh, voiced concern about how t Toronto police have treated them. They claim to have been mistreated, abused, even physically assaulted as well as uh, indignified by the Toronto Police Force and they say that uh, not only is it inappropriate for the the Toronto Police to march in the trans parade but their mere presence would actually scare off certain members of the trans community from feeling that it was a safe space and a safe event to be at. Uh, that's a major alarming situation. Um, first of all the police force, any police force, they're supposed to be the good guys. They're here to uphold law and order and keep the city, city that they or the region that they represent safe. Something is extremely wrong if members of society feel that police are the bad guys. And uh, I honestly don't know for sure. Uh, I don't have first-hand information uh, as to whether or not the Toronto Police really have stepped over uh, the boundary of uh, what's appropriate and if they really have abused trans people, if they have shame on them. Um, ultimately, it's no secret that uh, government authorities over the years have oppressed m members of the LGBT communities. Um, only in recent years have we seen a, a change in thinking. Um, this week, down south of the border in the United States, uh, just now, the federal government down there is recognizing uh, marriage equality rights. Uh, wasn't that long ago that Democratic President Bill Clinton created the uh, Defense of Marriage Act, essentially discriminating against gay people. Um, so yeah, um, sure, there, there, there's a rough history there. Um, at the same time, I think we need to uh, we need to mend fences. Uh, we need to recognize that it's 2013 and. Things that have gone on in the past are hopefully water under the bridge. Hopefully we can learn from it, and we have. We've seen a lot of positive movement in terms of LGBT equality and acceptance and movements of that nature. Furthermore, the concept of a pride parade or a pride march is supposed to be a public event welcome to everybody. Um, from where I sit, which is far away, outside of the front line. I don't know the specifics, so maybe I'm out of line, maybe I'm not, but if a police force is r extending their hand in friendship to a community, um, I'd like to think that uh, members of that community would uh, let bygones and be bygones s extend their hand and, and shake that hand. Um, I've lived here in St. John's now for uh, six years. Um, nothing against any of the police forces out here but I've never seen police forces march in any pride parades here. Um, the fact that Toronto police wants to be seen as supporting trans rights uh, I think that's positive. Um, it saddens me to think that uh, there's there's that much uh, concern. Um, trans people are at high risk of being victims of crime all over the world. Police are supposed to be there to help us and protect us and when the Toronto Police Force is saying we recognize that, that we may have uh, not seen eye to eye in the past but we're here 
we want to work with you, we want to get things right. It, it seems sad and, and shameful that they would be uh, shunned and pushed away. And, and I guess the other issue is who really speaks for the trans community in Toronto? Um, that's been a whole other issue. I guess I will touch on it. Members of the trans community were concerned about the way the gay lesbian folks running the official Toronto Pride were uh, handling trans matters. So they, a batch of them branched off and created their own Trans Pride Toronto. Um, now there seems to be conflict within the trans community in Toronto. Some of them are supportive of having the police at the parade and some of them are not. Um, I just, I don't have all the answers here. Um, it just, it, it's really sad to see. Um, it's no secret that I am currently employed by a police organization here in St. John's, Newfoundland. And I am proud to be a, a member of that organization. Um, I've seen nothing but positive things. Um, I've been welcomed, I've wor only worked there a couple months by the way. Uh, I've been welcomed and accepted with open arms, treated with nothing but the utmost level of respect and professionalism by both police officers and civilians in that organization. And uh, I have no idea if members of any Newfoundland police organization plans to attend Pride, but if they do, they'll have 100% uh, respect and, and, and welcome for me because uh, I truly and honestly believe that uh, police organizations uh, are good people and uh, sure maybe policies aren't always uh, perfect and there may be some misunderstandings but uh, yeah ultimately it would be my opinion that members of the gay lesbian and trans communities and the police forces and the jurisdictions that they live and represent uh, I'd like to hope that they would all be on the same page and that they would all get along and that they would all be supportive of uh, equality and freedoms and it, it, it just breaks my heart to see this type of conflict um, I really don't know like I say I don't have all the answers communication uh, we need to get members of both sides to sit down at the table and talk things out if there are problems that are legitimate or if they're just perceptions or myths they need to be aired they need to be discussed we need solutions because ultimately Pride is not supposed to be about conflict or fear. It's supposed to be about love and acceptance and togetherness. And uh, I just feel badly that uh, that doesn't appear to be happening in Toronto. And uh, Toronto, you call yourselves the, the center of the universe. Uh, you got to lead by example here. And uh, quite frankly, uh, I'm not pointing the finger at anyone, but to me this is a, a sad, shameful failure on all your parts for not getting this thing worked out. And... Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic that things won't be like that here in Newfoundland when we celebrate Pride Week next month. Um, it is my belief that we're going to see, hopefully, everybody from all aspects, gay, lesbian, bi, trans, police, fire, ambulance, government, everybody on the same page together, and uh, I'm going to be working hard to uh, try to make that a reality. I would love nothing more than to see gay leaders, trans leaders, and police leaders together in unity celebrating pride and uh, that's just a little heads up I guess for all you folks here in St. John's. Uh, I know I've been the face of controversy in the LGBT community here in the past but uh, that's definitely not going to be my plan or my goals this year. I want to see everyone together. We need to be together. We need to be working together because there are issues that need to be addressed um, by the true bad guys and the true perpetrators of crime and, and discrimination. and. Our whole is greater than the sum of our parts, and uh, we can and I know we will work together to make uh, St. John's Newfoundland uh, uh, the best city possible and uh, hopefully world leaders in uh, LGBT acceptance. So, Toronto, you got to get your act together. I don't know how, but uh, you just got to do it. Um, I'm Jennifer McCreese. Thanks for watching.